So we have a wind panel set up here in Saima as vertical as possible and we have a mobile one so you can see it's always when the orange light is going on it's charging and I put two power banks up two days ago so this has been charging they were both empty and I'm wondering if this one is really doing much charging this has been the windiest spot now so far where I've set up the wind pell. Um, it yeah it seems to require quite a bit of wind to get started once it's running. Uh, it doesn't need so much. And so this is charging uh, a Fosera mobile one, which came two of these came with the mobile one solar panel, which is charging with 3.25 volt. So it's set up. For these power banks uh, or lithium ion um, and you see this has received more charge since I set them up two days ago and yeah I haven't um, followed the sun with this it's also not really the south over there it is quite sheltered lots of shadow on this panel but still it got more than the Wind pell so far. I think the wind pell is mostly so far my impression interesting for um, yeah having a variety of sources for energy harvesting available, muscle power or water power or wind power, which I think is a really great strength of this setup, the waterproof um, engine or motor, the generator can be submerged. So it can be pulled behind a boat or put down in a river uh, with a different attachment and uh, also used on a bicycle um, or with a gearbox and a hand crank it can be also uh, muscle power so i think the versatility of the wind pell in combination with the other add-ons is quite quite a good approach um, it would be interesting to see a slightly bigger version maybe um, made from recycled materials um, and I think oh there's Kuika flying nice yeah um, the mobile one so far like I've used it um, the whole summer now as my only source for charging my mobile phone a few exceptions on office days but for very normal, moderate, everyday use of a smartphone, the mobile one with these two um, power banks has been very sufficient. Uh, on the edge of being sufficient, I should say. In the winter, it's not sufficient. But now in the summer, especially when it's really in the direct sun, it's doing really well. Yeah. Okay, that was the update on these two energy harvesting approaches and i think to be continued yeah very positive impressions on both products so far um, did some changes maybe still to point out so to these power banks i added uh, a loop uh, with a blake hitch blake knot um, that works a bit like a, a cable tie very easy to adjust and tighten um, to the solar panel, I added elastics with these hooks, and those can be you can slide them through here and make some parts longer or shorter. So, yeah, easy to clip onto backpacks, pulks, bicycles, uh, all kinds of places to have it exposed while on the move. Okay, that's it. Bye bye.